Another World tells the story of Lester, a young scientist who, as a result of an experiment gone wrong, finds himself in a dangerous alien world where he is forced to fight for his survival. Alright, hello everyone, welcome to Another World. This is a, well, it's described as a cinematic platformer action adventure game, whatever that means, I'm not exactly sure. I guess it doesn't particularly fit into any one genre. Uh, this game originally came out in 1991. However, this is the 20th anniversary edition, which has been remixed and improved in various ways. One of which is it's now running in 1920 by 1080. That is a resolution, right? Yep, 1920 by 1080. Whereas previously, when the game originally came out in 1991, it ran at 320 by 200. Needless to say, I'm glad it's now running at 1080p. Because 320 by 200 would be very painful. So I've heard that it was this game was really innovative when it came out. However, in 1991, I was literally not even born. I was born in 1992, so I couldn't really say. Because I don't know anything about how the state of games in 1991. But yes, I've heard that it was something very, very special for the time. And in fact, it still looks to be special even today, because looking at the game, I don't even know exactly what it is. Which I think is a good thing, because it makes it very interesting and exotic. Okay, well, I guess let's get right into it. Um, I've never played it before, I don't even know how to play We'll see how this goes. I guess it's like a mixture of... Adve I, like, I saw a little bit of footage of it. On YouTube, I just looked up some videos just to see what it looked like, and it looks like it's kind of like a, well, platformer action-adventure game. Like, it's got elements of all of those. There's platforming. No, platforming. It does seem to be very cinematic. Um, and it looks like there's also some adventure elements, so, well, let's see how this works. I'm, I'm really intrigued about how all of these elements are going to come together. How they're going to all come together and work together. So, let's go. Um, what is this? I click the intro to start it? Or... Oh, is this like the save system? Like, you get to choose where you want to start from, I guess? There we go, uh, intro.
I think I was supposed to start playing there and I just died. I'm not sure though. <laughs> um, before I continue though, that was awesome. The art in this game is so beautiful. I'd like to see what the original looked like to see how it compares, but regardless. You know, I don't know how much they've changed. Like, I don't know if they kept it exactly the same, but simply increased the resolution, or if they changed more than that. But it looks unbelievably good. That was beautiful. And I see what they mean about calling it a, a cinematic game. That, that was very cinematic. And just awesome in every way. Wow. That certainly sets the mood. That was amazing. All right. Press any... Uh, press action to continue. What is action? I don't know. The, the game didn't tell me what the action key is. What's what's the action key? Enter? Resume? No. <laughs> what? Uh, can you tell me the controls, please? Wait, that's it? That... Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, let me take a look at this and figure out how this works, and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I've taken a look at the controls, and I've reset them. They were set to the arrow keys, which is super awkward for me, and I'm not comfortable with that, so I reassigned it to WASD, reassigned jump from, I think it was shift before, to space, because, well, that actually makes sense <laughs> to me, whereas shift doesn't. And the action key is now shift. And, and just looking at these panels over here, uh, it looks like... Uh, the action key is used to do various things, including sprint. So if you hold down uh, the, the center thing... Whoops. This... Where's my mouse? Uh, where's my mouse? What the fuck? Where did my mouse go? My mouse is gone. Um, excuse me, I'll be right back, I guess? Wait, never mind. No, here... What the fuck? Okay? My mouse is back. Anyway, like I was saying, this center dot thing is the action key. So if you hold down action and press the direction, it sprints. And it also looks like the action key does various things other than sprinting. Uh, I'm going to need to get used to this, but for now, yes, everything is set. WASD, jump and action, and P will toggle the HD mode on and off, which should be really interesting. I, The fact that that's simply a control and not an option makes me think that it's something you can just do on the fly. So that should actually be pretty neat, just to see what it looked like originally. And see what it looks like now with the HD version. Just to compare. But anyway. Okay. Let's get back to it. Um, okay, press action to continue. Here we go. Okay, yes, I did die. Okay, time to swim up. Let's swim up now, before the tentacles get me. Oh, hi, there's, um, something watching me. It doesn't look very friendly. And it's gone. Whew. Oh, God, the tentacle's coming. <laughs> hi. Can it actually grab me? Okay, we need to test this for science. Hi, tentacle. Okay, whew. Okay, let's try the HD mode on and off. Wow, this is what it originally looked like, huh? That actually looks really good. Well, they definitely changed the art. What the fuck did I just do? Seriously, what the fuck did I just do? I was looking at the sky and I just fell in the water. What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> let's try that again. Okay. I have no idea what my character just did. Did I press something, or did something grab me? Anyway. Yeah, so they definitely changed the art style. Uh, originally it was pixel art. And now it's not. However, even the original pixel art looks really, really good. Maybe the tentacle did grab me, I don't know. I'm gonna stay away from it. I definitely think it looks better with the new art style. Okay, the... Well, just just looking at the art style. Alright, here's what I see so far. Everything about the new art style looks better. And looks really good, except... 
the main character seems to not really blend into the background, or not really fit in with the background art as much in the new art style. Like, he looks a little bit out of place, whereas in the original one, he looks totally in place. So he looks a little bit out of place in the HD version of the graphics. However, aside from that, it looks really, really good. But I still think the original art style looks really good, too. And this, this is just so cool. After that awesome cinematic introduction, now I'm on an alien world. Look at this. I'm fascinated. I'm intrigued about this alien world. I want to know more about it. Where am I? How far away am I? And what life forms inhabit this place? Obviously, there's some sort of a tentacle monster thing. And some sort of a thing was watching over me. Up there on that little ledge. Alright, let's go to the left and see what happens. Am I going to be, like, pulled down again? Oh, whoa. Looks like some rocks are falling. I'm going to keep switching modes. Hm. I hope this doesn't break off. Alright, jump. Right. Okay, let me mess around with the controls a bit and get used to them, and then I'll be right back. Alright, I messed around with the controls for a couple minutes. Well, yep, you can walk, you can sprint using the action key. You can jump, of course, which I have to say is a very awkward looking jump. But not a big deal, who cares? And it looks awkward no matter which art style you use. Um, you can also do this weird thing where if you press the action key while you're crouched down like this, he does that. I don't know if that's used for, like, tripping enemies or what. You can also do it when you're just standing up, but it's n your foot doesn't go out as far. So I don't know what that's used for, but anyway, let's continue. I'm probably gonna die in, like, two seconds. What the hell is... What are... I love this game. It's a game of, like, instant death every two seconds, anytime you do anything wrong. And it shows you it in graphic cinematic style. Okay, so it's the sort of game where you need to, like, do something perfectly right, or you have to do the whole sequence over again. Which is very cinematic. Not exactly the greatest... It's, it's not a sort of design that I'm particularly fond of. Um, but I get it. It's, it's kind of cool. Alright, so avoid the thing falling. Wait a minute, can I, like... Ooh, maybe I can do this. Like, can I kick them? You can. Okay, that's what that's for. Right, so... Yeah, it's kind of like... I'm getting the impression that the game is kind of designed so that it's like you're... It's called cinematic. I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of designed so that it's like you're playing through a cinematic scene. Like a movie scene. And there's only really one way to solve it. Because there's only one way that the scene was designed to be. And if you do anything wrong, then that is, you know, you get your death scene, like that thing that cut me and poisoned me or something like that. And then you have to do the whole scene over again. So it is very cinematic. Not necessarily in a good way for games, but... I'm guessing that once you do get a perfect run down and you finish the scene the way it's supposed to be, when you have a nice clean run, it probably makes for a very... a really cool sequence. I bet it does. Oh, and there's more. And there's a thing in the background. Oh, God. Whoops. I wasn't fast enough. My bad. Okay, good. They skipped the whole thing there. That's nice. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I ran too far. Those things are nasty. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's um let's do the longer kick, huh? It's safer. Much safer. Now, there's some more up there. Gotta watch out. Oh god, fuck! I didn't see that one. 
All right, I'm I'm just gonna take out this two and then continue. I just run past him. The thing is, though, based on the preview that I saw. Uh, based on the preview that I saw, I saw how the sequence played out, mostly, and I remember most of it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to run back here, which is why I need to clear them out. Come on, fall, you little son of a bitch. Okay. I don't know if they're set to fall at any one particular point, or if they're waiting for me to be under them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this, folks, is the one scene I remember from the preview that I watched. We're gonna have a little visitor, and we're gonna have a little run! Hi! Bye! Go, 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 go! Thank God it tripped, and... Oh, oh shit. Run, 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 run. That thing is fast. It's catching up to me. Thank you, whatever you are. Hi. I come in peace. <laughs> Ow. What if I can change the art style mid cutscene? I don't know, the cutscene ended too soon. Hey, dude. Hey, there's someone in here with me. Uh, I see some people mining in the background. This game seriously does look good, even in the original form. Look at that. That's as good as any pixel art game I've seen today, 20 years later. Well, more than 20 years later, like 22 years later. I almost want to leave it on the original quality, but... Hmm. Nah, nah, I'll leave it on the new one. How did they get me up here? I don't know, but I can sway back and forth. Oh, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. Fuck you. Nope. Nope. Ah, we're free. I have no idea what you just said. What is this thing? Ooh. Laser gun. Okay, shit. Um, how do I fire this? Hold on. Hold on, I'll be there in a second. I'll be there in a second. I need to figure out how to fire this. Action key shoots. Whoa. First shield achievement. I can make a shield? Okay, so you hold it down, and you can make a shield. Or what does that do? Does that kill me? No. Whoop. Oh god, I think I might have just killed my friend. Ah! What? I have no idea what just happened. I shot into the dark, and I think I shot something I shouldn't have. Whoops. Try that again, shall we? I just think it's such a cool idea that you're stuck on an alien world where you can't communicate with anyone. None of them speak your language. Such a feeling of alienness. You know, I can't talk to them. Like that, we have to communicate through, like, just body language and stuff. Okay, let me try this again. Action key to shoot. Hold it down to make a shield. Let me just very quickly check, is that all I can do with the gun? Can I do a big shot? Or is it just shield and a normal shot? Just shield, okay, let's go. Whew, God, look at all of these. I was gonna say people, well, I guess they're not people. Look at all of these whatever they are, imprisoned. 
okay, okay, okay. Oh! Shit, I don't even know what happened. I think they came from the back. <laughs> okay. This is a very interesting format for a game. It is very cinematic. Like I was saying before, it's very much like you're just running through a scene, and there's basically just one predetermined way that you can do it. Although, of course, there's a little bit of variety, you know. Exactly where you walk and exactly when you shoot is kind of up to you. But there's basically one way that the scene can play out, and you have to complete it perfectly. You basically have to complete the scene, or you die, and you have to do it again. Again, it's not my favorite format, but it is interesting. Oops, I didn't need to jump. I, I jumped. I jumped instead of shooting. Whoops. Oh, there's going to be a lot of repetition in this game. A lot. I'm sorry, what was that? What was that? Hold on, let me get closer. I want to hear what you're saying. Let me get a little bit closer. There we go. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, that's right, you're dead. Sorry. Maitsuba to you, too. Oh. Okay, I think they come from the back. So I'm just going to run forwards for now. Okay, let's just go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Hack it, hack it. Oh. Just keep the shield up. Come on. Okay, you got it. Nice. Just go, go, go. Oh, God. Did it just close behind me? There we go. Did, did this just close? What the fuck? Dude. Oh, God. Am I... Have, I'm out of energy. <laughs> I'm out of energy. I'm not sure what just happened. Was I supposed to go through there, but I missed my chance? I think I did. Okay, this starts again. Okay, I have limited power. I'm not even gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna make another shield. Okay, let's go. Whew, what is this thing? Uh, dude, where are you going? Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, oh, whoa, oh. I pressed up and we went up. Can we go down? We can. Whoa. Look at this place. It's incredible. I just, I just want to know more about this world. Hmm. There's one down there. Okay, what's down here? Well, at least I have a friend with me. Oh, shit. Nice to have a friend, although unfortunately we can't talk. Alright, let's try that again. This time I'm gonna do this. I kind of feel bad for killing them. I mean, they did arrest me. And shoot me. For no particular reason. But... It's not really a good justification, justification for killing them. Anyway, is this a thing? What? Oh, can I do something here? Oops. Didn't mean to shoot. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do something there. I can't seem to. Anyway, let's go this way. Hook. Oh. This is shut. Okay, time to go down. I guess we do do something there. Come on, my big, hulky, bulky friend. Actually, isn't this something that he can hack? Yeah, why don't you get hacking? Um... Do I need to find, like, a way to communicate with him? Can I... What if I use the action key? Am I, am I going to shoot him? I don't want to shoot him. Um... What if you do that? No, that's a shoot. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. See, this looks just like the control panel that would allow him to open the door. But how do I get him to do it? Come on, dude. Do it. And this is how I communicate. By jumping back and forth. Is there something in the controls that would help me? I mean, you can move, you can sprint, you can jump, yeah. You can use it to kick the things, but you can't do that when you're holding a weapon. When you're holding a weapon, it just shoots. You can use it to charge up a shield, yeah. And that's it. I mean, can I, like, drop it? Look, can I drop the weapon? I don't think so, there's no key for that. Hmm. I'm confused. Like, I, I feel like there's a way that I need to communicate with him to tell him what to do. Or tell him what I want him to do. But how would I go about doing that? I didn't mean to shoot. Alright, that's weird. View's bugging out there. I don't think there's anything up here. Other than that again. Which admittedly is incredibly beautiful, so I don't mind watching that again. Ooh, can I switch? Yes, I can. Look at that. Wow. Hm. You know, in, so in some ways, I actually like the original art more. I kind of like the stone texture of the original art more. Let's go in the original art style for a little bit. Alright, so I guess this is the puzzle element of the game coming through. Since it is an adventure, cinematic, puzzler, platformer sort of thing. Hmm... I don't know, what am I missing? There's so few elements for me to interact with within this scene that I don't know what I'm missing. I don't know, let me try and figure it out. Uh, I'll be back when I find something. Okay, I learned about, I just learned about a new functionality of this weapon that I did not realize existed. And I think it might be able to blow open doors. If you hold down the shoot key, okay, if you do it once, it just makes a little shot. If you hold it down for a little while, you can make a shield. If you hold it down for a very long time, which I did not realize, you can make a super shot. Yes, it does. Oh god. And this thing is now out of ammo, and I'm going to die. There's really no way around it, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, need to be faster this time. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure how I can get around that. I have no ammo left, so I can't shoot. S 
so... Hold on. Wait a minute, what if I do this? What if I go down here? Shoot this person. Go up. Shoot this out. And then go back down. Actually, wait, hold on, I need you. Come with me, my friend. For you have shown that you are capable of hacking. Okay, now... This is somehow connected to what's above. You see those lines. Will he do something? Yeah, this thing's out. Hello? Can you... Can you do something, dude? Please? 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 Maybe if I talk in a deeper and deeper voice, he'll help me. Please help me. Nope, it didn't work. High-pitched voice? Please help me! Nope. Okay, um... I guess I can hope that he's gonna run out of ammo. Fat chance of that. <laughs> um, you first... I honestly have no idea what the hell to do here. Like, look. Okay, it's very, very loud. I'm just gonna go into the menu. If you look, he's sitting, he's standing right in the doorway. Look at that. Those three lines of blinking lights are corresponding to the three doors that can be accessed from below. I think I need to smush him in the doors. The question is, how do I get the doors to close? Because this big guy just won't do anything. He won't hack it, for some reason. Why won't he? Now, I could... Now, I could blow open the door before I go down, but if I do that, the problem is I'm not going to have any ammo left to kill the guy all the way at the bottom. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, that was horrifying. He shot at me and then, like, just punched me to death. Ugh. I don't suppose there's a way of, like, kick... Maybe I don't need to kill him? Can I, like, kick him? I'm not sure what the point of that would be. That didn't work. I have no idea what the hell to do here. Honestly, I have no idea. Alright, I'll be back when I find something. Okay, I think I found the solution. It was something that I never noticed before. Because it's very subtle. Alright, let's go down to the bottom. Okay, shoot this person. Here's what I didn't notice. Look at those little lights going up. And now when I shoot. The flash on the screen. I shot the... I don't know, I guess I shot this little tiny light at the end of the hallway or something? I don't know, it's really hard to even tell anything happened. But, I believe that's going to shut off power to the doors, which means he shouldn't be able to get out. Although, he might start shooting through them, just like I'm about to shoot through this door. So I might not be safe forever. We'll see. Let's go! Yep, yep, yep. Uh, dude, you, you coming? Oh, wait, what? We just... teleport? Like, you just press up and you... I don't understand why we're just teleporting up and down. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Wait, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Do I need to... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna roll my way out of here. Roll to win. Oh, God. This doesn't look safe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. The deaths in this game are brutal. That's horrifying. I'm stuck in, like, a little pipe where I can't even properly crawl. I have to roll. And I just fell to my death and cracked my skull open with a wet thud. Now my body is stuck on another world in some dark pipe where no one will ever find me to rot. Jesus. Okay, I don't even know what just happened. Is it going to happen every time I go to the left? No. Oh, it's timed. Oh, it's that sound. Right, steam. Gotcha. Okay, hopefully this won't kill me. Good. Oh, shit. I wonder what this looks like in the original art style. What does a steam look like? Okay, I went too far. You gotta be really careful with that other one. Gotta get nice and close to it. Oh god! <laughs> oh, I rolled to the side. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game is just full of instant failure. Ah, Didn't wait long enough. Patience. 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 It's actually pretty hilarious the amazing amount of ways you can die. Really? I was a pixel too close. I was many pixels too close. <laughs> How many times am I gonna die in these freaking pipes? I thought he was helping me by opening up the... Uh, the cover to get down here, but maybe this is a worse fate than what would have happened to me up there. Patience. Patience. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, do I go left or right? Left. Okay, don't go left. I got this. I got this. Let's go right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down again. Nice and slow. Okay. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. And the legs and the arms. But mostly it's all in the hips. Okay. Thank God. Uh, do I have any ammo left? No, of course not. Well, actually, I shouldn't say ammo. I should say energy. Kind of the same thing-ish. I wonder if I'm going to meet up with that guy again. Probably not. Alright, what is this? Is this going to, like, insta-kill me? Uh, Achievement Unlocked Warrior. What just happened? Did I just charge my weapon? It did? Okay. Now what is this? I'm on an alien world and I'm walking through things that I just don't know what they do. It's 
fascinating and terrifying at the same time. Oh, I can't walk into that. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So I got to keep charging and blow through these. I love how you see his hair all frizz up. Get all frizzy. I want to see what this explosion looks like in the original art style. Very good looking. It really does look very good. Even with the original art. Okay, I'm probably going to die very soon. Where am I? Oh, what the? Oh. It looks like they're dealing with some problems. Welp. I was a quick draw. But he was too. We both died. Oh, seriously? I have to cut through all those again? Really? Lame. I mean, having to repeat... Like, having to, um... Die and come back again and again is kind of annoying on its own. But having to repeat stuff that you've already done is just a waste of time. Oh god. Uh, I died? I put up a shield and he didn't shoot. At least it looked like he didn't shoot, but somehow I managed to die. I don't even know what just happened there. Like, hold on. Can I put down a shield without shooting? You can't. We Oh, I just broke that door unnecessarily. Actually, wait a minute. What if I do this? Interesting effect. It looks like it just absorbs it. Alright, I hate this door too. Boom! So yes, it appears that it is impossible to put down a shield without firing first. You hold down shift. And he shoots, and then makes a shield. Alright, what if I just shoot out into the dark? Okay, it sounded like I hit something. Let's do it again, just to be sure. Okay, did that work? Nope. Come on, turn around or something, man. Come on, come on, come on. It's so weird that you can't put down a shield without shooting first. That doesn't make any sense at all. You know what? He's awfully tall, isn't he? What if I crouched and then shot? I'm going for it. <laughs> the advantages of being relatively small. Oh yeah. That's me blowing the, uh, the, the smoke out of my gun barrel, even though this thing shoots lasers. Just pretend it shoots black powder or something. Oh, crap. Can I... Uh... There's no way. Look at that. There's no way I can make that jump. This is as far as I can jump. Shit. Anything over there I can blow up? Hmm. Do I have anything that's gonna help me? I mean, what the hell could help me? It's just there's no way I'm gonna make that ja oh, god. Alright. I don't know, maybe there'll be like a extra... Whoops. Maybe there'll be like an extra cinematic jump when I do it. Here we go. <laughs> I 
it took too long to press the button, and I've got to do this whole thing again. I love all of the deaths. You know what, I bet out there on YouTube there's probably a compilation of all of the incredibly unique ways you can die, right? There's gotta be. What do you bet, like, half of all of the assets made for this game are just death animations? That's gotta be, like, half the freaking game. Just all the myriad ways you can die. Oh, God damn it! Fuck! Uh -huh. Did they have to put the jump right after the scene change? I've got to remember, you got to jump like right after you switch scenes. I mean, at least put it in the middle of the screen, the jump. Not at like the first fourth of it. Okay. At the scene change, jump. Okay. I didn't make it across, but... Oh god. Um... Where am I jumping? Do I jump down or to the side? I'm going to assume to the side. I assumed wrong. Is it really like no fucking way to save? You know, I I think the difficulty setting might actually change the saves. Let's try that. Let's just try it on easy. Because of how they define easy is not wasting your time by causing you by forcing you to pointlessly replay sections you've already finished, then I will totally do easy. Because if that is it, then it should be relabeled from easy to the only sensible, sensible way to play. Okay, let's go. And jump! And fall down? Wait, do I need to land in the middle? Okay, that's weird. The easy does not do that. W what does the difficulty setting do? It didn't give me any more save points, at least not for the section. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think the game's running slower. Is that what the difficulty does? That's what the difficulty does! <laughs> the difficulty setting in this game changes the speed of the game. It gives you less time to react. What is hard? It feels the same as normal. No, no, I guess it is faster. It's actually just changing the speed of the game. It's giving you less time to react. Man, usually difficulty settings affect, like, enemy health and how much equipment you find and your health and how much damage you take. I've never heard of a game controlling the speed of the game by the difficulty. That is really neat. Alright, well, I'm going to leave it on normal. And... jump! Okay, I think I need to go into the center. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Honestly, am I miss like, do I need to get across the bridge to begin with, or am I supposed to fall down there? And if I am supposed to fall down there, then what am I supposed to do? The game won't let me look down. I don't know what's down there. Is it all spikes? I have to say, so far this game is a mixture of really good, interesting stuff and also some really terrible, just wretched design. It's too cinematic. It's like... 
It's like the director. It's like you're the actor, right? And the director, that is the creator of the game, wants you to play out a scene perfectly, and if you get one line even slightly wrong, if you stutter in your words, the director shoves your head in a guillotine and chops it off. You know, it's like, perfect, 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 WRONG, DEAD! Do it all again, fuck you! Perfect, 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 NO, WRONG, DEAD, DO IT ALL AGAIN! It's like, what the fuck? Okay, jump, no, fall, or you can just fall. That's fine too. And do it all over again. Alright, fuck it, you know what, I'll be back when I've finished this correctly. I'm not going to make you watch this. Oh, that's what you do. You blow a hole in the wall. Which, even though it appears to be solid stone, apparently leads to something and you're magically supposed to know this? Good design, game. Good job. Oh wow, that looks a lot different in the original version. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. If I'd seen the original version, would I have known to shoot there? Or thought to shoot there? Something about the new art style made me think that maybe I could go down, like, between the spikes or something. Actually, even this one kind of suggests it. In the bottom left, there looks like a it looks like there's an empty patch. I don't know. The problem with this scene, though, is that there, there's like no sense of depth. I don't know how far away those spikes are. Are they two feet? Are they a hundred feet? It's really hard to tell what's going on. Like it, it should have been communicated to me that down there was clear death, but it just wasn't clear. Anyway, whatever. All right, what's in here? Oh, pretty. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the art style is really different here, huh? Wow. Neat. So before it was just like a plain cave, but now it's got all these interesting looking ripples. Hmm. Uh, do I have any ammo? Ammo? Yeah, I do. Okay. I wonder what's down there. Well, I'm going to be dying pretty soon. But then again, I guess you could say that for the entire game. What's that noise? Okay, I thought maybe there was going to be, like, an Indiana Jones ball chase sequence. That is a stone ball, not someone chasing a testicle. You know what I mean. Alright, fuck it, I have to try it. What's down here? Oh, you can actually do that without dying. Okay. Cool. Alright, so there's multiple ways here. <gasps> How do the stalactites look in the original? Oh, they're right there. Interesting thing about the switch between the art styles is that in the original art style, it's actually... Even though there's less detail, obviously, it actually makes it cleaner and easier to see what you can interact with and what you can't. Or, you know, like what's in the environment and what's not. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that gonna break when I land on it? <gasps> what is that thing? What is that? Hmm. It doesn't look like part of the cave. Not a natural part, anyway. It looks like a little platform that's been added in. <gasps> hmm. If I fall down there, am I going to be able to get back up? I don't think I could. I'm not even going to go down there. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm amazed how inconsistent the new art style is. That actually looks way better in the old style. Look at that. In the old style, it actually looks properly like tentacles. Whereas this one looks like it's strips of paper dangling from the ceiling, or something. Hmm. 
I, I honestly don't know which style to stick with. I like the old one in many ways, and in other ways, I like the new one. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep flip-flopping just to check it out. Anyway, I'm obviously going to die if I go under that thing. What if I do this? Oh, shit. Oh, I still have ammo. Okay, I didn't mean to do the super shot. I meant to do... Oh, it doesn't work. Never mind. I was thinking maybe the shield would kind of stop it from coming down. But apparently not. Um, anyway, before I continue, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's, well, what the hell? Let's just walk under the tentacles. Let's see what happens. Really? They don't... Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Well, let's take some different pathways. What if I go to the left? I think I'm stuck. Wait a minute. What if I did this? Ah, wait, but is that a good thing? Hmm. Maybe it is a good thing. Actually, because I think the way I was going actually might have been guaranteed death. Oh, shit. Ouch. Okay, interesting. So there are multiple pathways. You don't have to go down there and then shoot it and come back up. You can just jump across, if you happen to know. Oh god. Oh god. That was close. Whoa. I, I'm assuming that's water. Hmm, okay. I suspect if I shoot this, it's probably going to break and start coming through. And if it does that, what's going to happen? What's down here? Death. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, so... Maybe this is a flotation device? That I'm standing on? Whoops. <laughs> Elegant. Maybe that's a flotation device. If it is, maybe I can... I, I don't know. Where would I... I, I... I don't know. Maybe what I need to do is burst it. Let the water spread throughout here. And then go back through the water. I just need to avoid the initial rush to avoid dying. Because obviously, if you were cut in a huge rush of water, you wouldn't be able to swim into it, right? You'd drown before anything happened or just hit your head against something and die. So I think maybe the water needs to be... Oh, damn it. Maybe the water needs to be let out. And then I go through it. After most most or all of the pressure has gone away. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Yep. I did not mean to fall. I don't even know what I just saw. I saw like two frames of something and then it I died. And jump, and jump. And jump. Oh, whoops. I'm getting faster. Faster, better, stronger. The problem is I'm actually jumping too late. Because when you need to jump really differs between games. Some games are very forgiving and they allow you to jump kind of late. And others kind of require you to jump early. It depends on a lot of things. How the whole collision works. How fast the jumping system responds. Uh, how fast the game is running. How responsive it is. And this game is running at 15 FPS right now. 
I'm guessing it's locked to that FPS, probably. So it's not terribly responsive. And here we go. Jump early. There we go. And god damn it. <laughs> it's okay. We're making progress. Okay, that was not making progress. That was regressing. Oh, god, no, I'm under it. Damn it. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does anyone else want to know what happens if you shoot it while you're under it? <laughs> Do we get a unique death animation? Let's find out. N never mind, you teleport. Okay. I accept that information. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Escape water. Okay, but now what? What exactly did that do? I, I mean, I can't go down. So... Wait a minute, can you break this thing up here? You can! This was filled with water, wasn't it? That must have been it. Yeah, it must have been filled with water. Okay, see, scenes like this are clearly just way better in the new art style. Like, this is just really bland. And this is beautiful. So yeah, it's really give or take whether I prefer the old version or the new version. With the stuff that's alive, organic, like me and the tentacle monster and stuff, it seems like the old art style just looks a lot better. But with pretty much all of the static stuff, the new one looks better. Whoa. What? Is this a wall? Or am I gonna fall? Like, I've got no sense of depth here. There's no indication to me that I'm actually walking on a platform, it just looks like a wall. It's kind of weird. See, this one, I actually prefer the old style better. So I guess it's not all of the static stuff that looks better. Hmm. What's up here? The heck is that? It kind of vaguely looks like a hover bike. Oh, it's the other side. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can't use it. Whatever it is. I mean, hell, even if it was a hover bike, I, sure, I certainly wouldn't know how to use it. Oh, shit. I thought maybe you could do something like that, but what's the point? Oh, I think I messed up. Huh. Some of the assets, they kind of kept. But that chain that's wiggling in the middle is basically the same. Okay, I think I messed up. I think that was supposed to fall on his head. Yeah, that was supposed to fall on his head. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to do the whole fucking water sequence again? Hold on. <laughs> I do. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Okay, well, before I go through the whole water sequence again, let me figure out how this part works. Unless, wait, I can't, can I? No, I can't. <sighs> Actually, wait, what does the water look like in the old version? I 
Oh, pretty much the same. Okay, okay, gotta do the whole water thing again. Jesus. We got this. I, okay, I don't got this. Oh shit, I fell. I definitely don't got this. Getting faster though. Master of fuck. I bet there's some crazy speedruns of this game. I bet if you knew what to do, you could probably finish it in like an hour or something. Hell, maybe quicker than that. Whoops. Okay. Much better. Alright. Well, I think I know what to do up there. But I'm also curious about what's down here. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. So I've been... Wait, what was up above? Did I never check? Oh, I never checked. What the hell? Oh, is that, is that him? Dude, you're alive! What are these pillars? Oh, he needs help, doesn't he? He can't get it out of the way. I'm coming, dude. I'm gonna save you. Hmm. That is, if someone doesn't pop up and kill me. Ooh, I knew someone was going to pop up. I've got my itchy trigger finger. And it's very itchy. And I'm going to scratch that itch by pressing shift. Okay, that was really delayed for some reason. It's down here. Am I really expected to solve this entire thing? And I have to go all the way back to the water part if I don't? This is huge. And shoot. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I can start to blow through it, but I probably don't have enough power for that. What is this... thing? How do I go down? Can I not go down the stairs? Oh. Okay, I just fall. Right. Oh. What? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Well, he was asking me something, and I pulled a, a bit of a cowboy there, as the achievement said. Kicked him in the balls or whatever, and uh, got past him, but it didn't quite work. And now I have to do all of this again, oh my god. Fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, come on, okay. I'm gonna cut this out until I get it. Okay, and we're back. Let's go down here, to begin with. Let's do something different. Go 
Come on. Can I get him to come here? Oh. I guess I could just shoot his head. That works, too? What is this? What is shooting this even for, then? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it'll come up later. Alright. I think I might be okay this time, because now the guy behind me is dead. So this should go better. And kick him! Oh. Okay. Oh, whoa. A oh, fuck. Seriously, come on. And now I've got to do it all again. This game, God, this video is going to have like a million fucking cuts. I'll be back. Okay, and we are back here, although I'm sure I'm about to die in like two seconds. Did they come here or was it on the next... Oh shit, I didn't need to do that. Did they come here or was it on the next spot? Oh fuck it, what the fuck? I had a shield up. I guess I can walk through shields, you just can't shoot? I don't know. I'll be back. Okay, we're back here again. Let's see if we can survive one more second. That's all I ask, just one more second. I don't even know what the fuck happened there. I spam the key and then I die from something. Who the fuck knows? This game is putting me in a wonderful mood. I love this game so fucking much, it's so wonderful. I'll be back, fuck my life. Okay, try this again, shall we? What the fuck am I supposed to even do there? I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do. The shields don't seem to do shit. Still fucking died anyway. <sighs> okay, try this again, shall we? Doesn't even fucking matter. Okay, try this again, shall we? I, what the fuck even happened there? Did I run out of energy? I don't even know. Who knows? Maybe the game is scripted so you're not even supposed to kill that character and you're magically supposed to know that you're not supposed to kill that character. After all, this entire game is a giant movie scene where you're supposed to read the director's mind. I'll be back. Okay, try this again, shall we? I'm just gonna run. Okay, if you run, you just fucking die. Apparently, I guess. Okay, try this again, shall we? This time, don't run. I'm fucking out of ammo, I think. No, 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 not. I'm not out of ammo, but I just died. Any I what? What is even happening? There's too many shields, and it sounded like I was out of ammo, but apparently I wasn't. I, I don't even fucking know. Okay, here we go again. Okay, wh what? I can't, f I can't shoot through his shield. And as soon as I move to the right at all, he moves past my shield and just shoots. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Alright, I'll give this, I'll let some ambient sound play in the background. I'm done. No. No. Just, no. Just, no. 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 Just... no.
No. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> okay. Let me get my wrap up on this. <sighs> there's... There's quite a few things I really like about it, and there's quite a few things that I absolutely loathe about it. Again, let's start with the bad so I can end with the good. The Bad is described as a cinematic, what, like, platform action adventure game or something like that. And the cinematicness makes for some very cool scenes. Very cool looking scenes. However, the way the maker of this game seems to have implemented the cinematicness is by having it so that there's basically one way with very little variance whatsoever, that you can complete a scene. He, the creator puts you into these scenes and has in mind exactly the way to solve it. Exactly the way to finish it. Exactly the way the scene is supposed to play out. And if you deviate from how it's supposed to play out, at all, in the, for the most part, except in a few cases like this, see this way you can either, you can jump over here and just skip that bottom part, or if you happen to fall down, you can go over here and get back up. So, okay, the scenes have some very, very minor variants where they could be kind of... the pathway to the end might be slightly different, but that's it. By and large, if you deviate from exactly what you're supposed to do at all for a split second, you get fucked. You die. Which is frustrating in and of itself, because it's like the game... even though the game lets you play, right? It lets you free. It lets you control the character. It doesn't seem to want you to do anything with that. It's controlling you so tightly, you know, it says here, go wherever you want. And you can run and you can jump whenever you feel like it, except if you do any of those things at even the slightly wrong time, you instantly die. So it kind of has like the illusion of freedom, but in reality, you have very little freedom whatsoever. And if it goes even slightly wrong, you die. Which again, in and of itself would be very frustrating, and is frustrating. However, it's made even worse by a couple facts. One, the fact that there's very few saves. Every single time I fucking die here, I have to go all the way back to the beginning of, the, the beginning of this fucking cave and do the entire fucking water thing again. For no reason at all. There's no reason to make me replay this. I've already done it dozens of times. I know how to do it. Making me do it again is not fun. It is not interesting. It is not engaging. It's repetitive bullshit. This game is completely and utterly disrespecting me as the player. It is saying, I don't give a flying shit about your time. I'm going to make you replay stuff you've already done again and again for no reason. It's dumb. It's stupid. So even if there was a good save system, simply the fact that you're expected to do things exactly one way and if you deviate it from it all, you die. It would still be frustrating. But it's made way, way worse by the fact that the save system is almost non-existent and horrible. But wait, there's more. There's a third thing. A very common cause of my death is by falling. And the big reason, the biggest reason why I fall when I don't mean to, is because the controls are laggy as shit. And this game runs at 15 FPS. And I don't believe that's because of optimization problems. Obviously it's a very old game, and even with the upgraded graphics, it's very simple. Graphically. It's not because of optimization. The game is obviously just kind of hard-coded to run at a certain speed. As you can see by the fact that if you change the difficulty to easy, it actually makes the game actually run slower. Now it's running at like 12 or 13 FPS. So it's not an efficiency thing, it's just the speed of the game. That slow speed, running at 15 FPS, means that the controls are very laggy. I mean, it's running at 15 FPS. It's really no wonder that anything you press would have a delay to it. I don't know if you can hear the delay. Here, I'm pressing space. It's very delayed. So the one of the big reasons I keep falling is because I'm pressing space 
when I'm actually at a point where I can jump. However, the game doesn't actually pick up on the fact that I pressed space, that I pressed jump, until after I'm already past that part, because it's so fucking laggy. Like here. Look at what I need to jump. I have to jump like here. Here. If I jump right when I'm on the edge, like this, I fall. See, I jumped when I was on the edge, but I fell, because the game didn't pick up on the fact that I pressed the button because I was running at 15 FPS. So the three big problems with this game. It's tightly controlled like a movie scene that is meant to play out in basically only one way, and if you deviate it from it at all, if you deviate from it at all, you die. In admittedly kind of hilarious ways, which is kind of fun. But yeah, you die. The game has like an iron grip on you. It's like it doesn't want you to do anything but what it wants. Like it has a perfect picture in its mind of what it expects you to do, but the problem is you don't know what it expects. Like look, look at the way they've cheated. This gun. See the super shot? Please note that back when I first realized about the super shot, the first couple times I used it, like, uh, think of the charging room, right? Where I had to charge the gun, use the super shot to break through one layer, and then charge it again, and then use the super shot to break through one layer again, and so on. In other words, the game communicated to me that the gun only has enough charge to shoot one super shot. And now, arbitrarily, for no reason whatsoever, now the director, I'm gonna keep going with the director metaphor, the director has envisioned, oh, this scene has you shooting multiple super shots. And so, for some reason, now my gun can shoot as many super shots as you want. Because they've arbitrarily decided they need it for the scene. Its rules aren't even internally consistent. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. It's so dumb. Ah. Even now, game developers, you see that they often focus on cinematicness, which which can be good, okay? Like, I don't think game developers should ignore all elements of cinema. They shouldn't just pretend cinema doesn't exist and take no lessons from it at all. Of course they should. But, in games, even today, there's an obsession with cinematicness, and you see it in the cutscenes you see everywhere. Right? Tons and tons of cutscenes that look great. The finest pre-rendered footage that took up 50% of our budget. To make these pretty little videos that chances are no one cares about because you don't get to actually interact with the game while they're playing, and chances are the story is shit anyway. Right? Like, fuck this story, I want to get back to shooting. Because usually that's what the game's all about. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So there's, a, there's this obsession with cinematicness. Again, taking lessons, taking things from cinema is not necessarily bad. However, it's not really a selling point to make your game like a movie as much as possible. Like, admittedly, even in this game, it makes for some very cool scenes. However, the scenes are only cool and cinematic if you happen to play through them perfectly like the director, the developer, expects you to. Otherwise, it is mind-blowingly frustrating. No, it just doesn't work. Stop obsessing about cinematicness, and just make a good game. That's not to say games have to have a lot of interactivity. But still, just stop obsessing about cinematicness. Okay, have I touched on the bad parts? Enough, I think I have. I've touched all of the bad parts. Well, that, okay, that sounds like a euphemism. Um, yeah, I've, I've touched on all of the bad parts. <laughs> <sighs> Honestly, even if this game had proper save points, I would actually finish it. Even though it'd be frustrating enough to have to keep replaying through these scenes until I matched the director's perfect vision of how the scene was supposed to play out and then finally it finishes. Even with that, I would finish it if it had a proper save system, but the lack of a proper save system is so egregiously horrible that I'm not willing to finish it because it is wasting my time. This game seems hell-bent on wasting my time as much as possible. And I'm just not going to put up with it. No. It's really disrespectful to me as a player to be wasting my time like this. It's stupid. Okay, now let's touch on the good. Alright, let's touch the good parts, which also sounds like a euphemism. Sorry. <sighs> Alright. It's beautiful. Even in the original form. Well, okay, this cave system doesn't look great, but... Let's go somewhere where it looks be- Let's go somewhere where it looks better. Nope, that doesn't look good. 
here. Oh, and I died. God damn it. All right, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> this game, in both its original art form and in the new art form, looks really freaking beautiful. It's a really good looking game. I also just like the graphic design, because you're stuck on this alien world, and, well, it looks very alien. And I'm fascinated by it. You know, I want to know more about this alien world. I really like the introduction. That looked amazing. That introduction was awesome. It's just such a cool setup, you know? A crazy science experiment gone wrong, transported to an alien world. All alone. No one speaks your language. Just the feeling of alienness. Of alienation. And being on an alien world. Without any idea of whether you can even get home or not, or what the hell to do. Just constantly running for your life. And it looks like I kind of have a friend. The guy that I escaped with, or I shouldn't even say guy, the, the thing that I escaped with, whatever it is. I'm thinking there's probably going to be some sort of a relationship between the two. That I would see if I went through the rest of the game, but I'm not going to. But yeah, just being on an alien world after this crazy science experiment is an awesome idea. I, I love it. I would love to explore more about the world. I just, because of all the frustrations, I don't care enough to do that. But I would love to know more about the world. It's a very cool setup. A very cool scenario. I like it. Is that it, or is there more I was going to say? It feels like it's too short. I don't know, I guess that's it. But yeah, in summary, it is horribly, mind-blowingly frustrating and seems hell-bent on wasting your time as much as possible. But I love the universe that it's set in. Like, if you had a game like this, where you're transported to another world and you have to interact with an alien on this world. You know, it's kind of like your pal, basically. You need to escape with that alien. That's a wonderful idea. It's such an interesting dynamic on an alien world where even though you share almost nothing in common with anything, you do share something in common with that person because you got, you got that, or I shouldn't say person, you got that creature, that alien, out. And you've kind of formed a bond, you know? You got each other out and you've helped each other. Even though you can't communicate, there's still a relationship there. I think that's really interesting. I'd like to see that explored further. Interacting with an alien that you can't really talk to. And just being, just the idea of being left alone, just suddenly transported to a completely alien world is awesome. So many cool things could come from that. But in the end, it just didn't work for me. It just doesn't work. Okay, I hope everyone enjoyed my frustrating playthrough of Another World. Goodbye.